so much, Paula. I'm so excited. And today is probably the bumper session because uh, we've laid some groundwork now. So two sessions down, don't be asked, and then emotional intelligence. Um, my promise today is to show you how to ensure that your inclusive leadership intentions and even the policies translate to lived reality for your people. The legal sector is ahead of the curve on inclusive policies but behind on inclusive leadership in practice. So today with these tools, you're going to learn the leadership habits to catch up with your good intentions. I am gonna share a bevy of resources with you today. Now, some of these will apply to different people depending on where you're at in the journey. Let me ask you, which of these are you? Maybe you are doing brilliantly with diversity and inclusion, but you're here for that kind of, that, you know, not of reassurance that you're on track, that you're doing things right, maybe just a fine tweak um, to bring things into alignment. Or maybe you're here reluctantly. There are always some of those. Maybe you're here reluctantly and I welcome you as well. And maybe you're here to make a new start. You're here to make a start on inclusion and diversity and I welcome you too. Um, so I guess um, a quick intro, um, you know who I am. I'm going to fly through these ones because I really, really would like to um, just get into the meat of what I want to share with you today. So let me come to this one here. <sighs> this one here. So um, I'm going to drench you today in a smorgasbord of ideas to choose from to improve your workplace inclusion. Um, many will glide by quickly with a moment for reflection that you might delve into later because a lot of these, you know, if we had a full day together, then you might be spending that time to really flesh out some of these ideas. But a lot of them you'll come to when the time is right. And so I want you to share those with you. So as I say, many will glide by quickly and you'll action later if there's something that are important to you and some like coaching we're going to take a deeper dive into and the reason that I'm doing this is because inclusive leadership is my home this is my home I want to welcome you I want you to feel comfortable I want you to find what you need here and to come back to me when you need to apply it more personally to your circumstances mm -hmm.